Congressman, what do you think is the most important step Congress can take to help people who are financially impacted by this? You know, let's focus on the human toll here. There's areas we agree with the president, paid sick leave, et cetera. Let's get that done this week. You know, and then there's other areas. You know, folks are having their kids sent home. They may not have access to child care, et cetera. The hourly workers, folks in the gig economy, we've got to help protect those folks. And the uninsured, making sure that folks, if they're sick, can actually get access to health care. Those are immediate priorities. And then longer term, let's have debate about how we avoid or minimize the recession that life is coming. Jared, you actually published an article yesterday in the Washington Post with your own plan. Tell us. Well, first of all, the most vulnerable people on the economic side of this, not talking about the health side, are people that the congressman just referred to. These are folks who may actually be employed, but they can't go to work because their workplace is quarantined or their kids are stuck at home. And if they don't get paid leave, they could miss a paycheck for a week, two weeks, a month. Now, a lot of these folks don't have savings to fall back on. So our plan was a way to quickly get paid sick leave to people who need it. What do you do for small business people or employees of small businesses who, let's say, they're staying open, but there's no customers there, right? What? Consumers are, are, are being vacuumed out right. because we want them to stay right. home. So a lot of these businesses are going to hit a cash flow shock if they haven't hit it already. Many have. And part of the plan that uh, we were talking about yesterday uh, transfers resources from the federal government directly to those businesses. And that's the kind of fast acting, quickly imp implementable uh, plans that we need to be thinking about right now. The payroll tax holiday that the president's talking about, it doesn't scratch that itch. It's slow. It only goes to people with paychecks, right, because it's payroll tax. So if you're not getting a paycheck, it doesn't help you. So we need to think about quickly implementable plans that reach people and businesses right away. Yeah, I think the speed is really important. When you think about what the congressman just said, you know, really a, a recession at this point is kind of a foregone conclusion. And I think globally, when you think about it, so the question now is how quick do you get that aid to the workers, to that U.S. consumer that we know is 70 percent of our economy and how deep the recession will be and how long it will last? I think that's really important. And I think that's why the combination of the monetary stimulus that just fell flat last week, at least the start of it, plus fiscal, it needs to happen sort of quickly to stem the length of a recession that's coming. How quickly, Congressman, can you get something passed? I mean, let's be honest, Democrats and the president are barely on speaking terms, and Republicans aren't exactly spenders when it comes to social issues. Well, I would hope that we get something done this week and, and send it to the Senate and the president's desk. You know, again, I, I agree with both the, the, the other um, speakers that we've got to do this fast and quick, and the quicker we can get it done, the, the more we can minimize the harm to the American public. Jim Crow.